join us on a trip to the Lone Star State for a virtual view of the future and the technology driving it. Witness a revolutionary leap forward that is redefining comfort zones. Welcome to Titus. Titus is an industry-leading HVAC company. They're continually innovating in every aspect of air distribution technology, from regulating airflow to advancing designs in air diffusers and everything in between. Titus is an air distribution company that's been around for about 70 years. When you look back at uh, the products that we have brought to the marketplace over the last probably 10 to 15 years, they have set the foundation for what we're bringing to the market today. But one of the great things at Titus is that we have a very, very strong network of engineers, architects, experts in the field. They've been there for decades. They know what is going on. That helps us staying at the forefront uh, of ideas. And that allows us to co-develop products like the Ventus Lux. Paul Wolford is a design principal at HOK, a global design, architecture, and engineering planning firm, and the brains behind Titus's newest innovation, the Ventus Lux Chilled Beam System. In a chilled beam system, the air is coming through, and it's cooled on the spot of being dispensed into the space. So Ventus Lux was really born out of the challenge of how do we create a solution in which you have all of these different infrastructures in a typical ceiling. So often if you walk into a space, you might not be that cognizant of it, but as a designer, we are. We look up and we see light fixtures, we see different kinds of displays, we see air conveyance devices, and instead of them all working together, each of them is designed and put in by someone else. And so what we did is, is we looked to consolidate and reduce all of those different situations into a single solution, and that's been to Slux. In our practice, we have multidisciplines. So Architects, interior designers, landscape architects, and engineers all sit together to solve the problems that we face. We look to lessons beyond what we've done every single day. And in this situation, we actually look to Titus as our partners. Titus is not only at the forefront of air diffusing and chilled beam technology, but on the leading edge of training too. Product innovation is important to us, but we also need to think about how can we interest consulting engineers as well as contractors to come to Titus to see our products, to see what we have to offer them. People have shorter attention in general these days and they expect more out of training. So one of the things we did is the 3D wall behind me. So we control it off of this pad and it allows us to walk them through training in a way that they can actually see it. We also have VR goggles. It's a way to get the next generation interested. It's nice to be able to see where the product is installed, how it's installed, how different parts of the system go together. It's actually an immersive situation where you put it on and you can actually look around the space and you feel like you're in the space. This allows us to do it here, everybody get an idea of what they're going to see and then take them out in the lab for the hands-on part. Investing in testing is something that Titus takes seriously. The Chilt Beam Testing Chamber is one of two in North America. It gives us the amazing ability to do some testing that no one else can do to get really good performance data for our products. David, so you want to talk about what we're doing today? Absolutely. Well, Roger and I were getting ready to set up for a chill beam test. We use the chill beam testing chamber to test chilled beam capacity. Measuring performance has to be tightly controlled. This chamber allows us to do this. Let's take a look inside. So as we come in the chamber, you'll notice a couple of different things that are very important. One of these is going to be our test apparatus here. What we've got set up here is to measure airflow, induced air across the chilled beam. One of the other things we have here is we have our heat dummies. What these dummies are meant to do is they're meant to emulate actually people so that we're constantly maintaining a set temperature inside the space. We're also trying to maintain a temperature in here without producing any heat plumes that will affect the induction that we'd see inside the chilled beam. We're gonna be doing a smoke isovel test on the Ventus Lux. We wanna make sure that we're getting sealing adherence from the air coming out of the unit. As we see the smoke, it's gonna start generating in the air handler and it'll come out of the air slot and we're gonna form a negative pocket right along the edge of the diffuser. As it does that, it's gonna pull the smoke along the ceiling. Now you can see the air coming along and as some of the air is starting to return with the smoke, you can see it start to turn back, pull back into the airstream and get carried again down along the ceiling. As they induce that air, we get a lot of turnover and we get, for that reason, a very consistent temperature throughout the entire space. Titus has proven that an effective light and air diffuser can be attractive. So now it's time to see how their Helios diffuser is also redefining their end user's comfort zones. Today, we're visiting TD Industries, a mechanical engineering manufacturing facility. At TD Industries, they know a happy employee is a productive one too. So when co-workers Ryan and Jetsy had a difference of opinion over the office temperature, 
I love it working here. I, it's just that I'm usually cold all the time. Their supervisor, Justin, stepped in. The issue here was that Ryan always liked it cold in his office, and Jetsy next door shared a thermostat, and she liked it warmer. And so that was an opportunity to have an innovative product to help solve that problem. What Ryan and Jetsy need is a wireless diffuser that will deliver the right amount of cool or warm air without a thermostat. Hello, how's it going? Hi, Trent, how are you? Good, ready for a new diffuser install. Yes, I'm super excited. Great. So we're looking at the installation of the Helios diffuser. And because it's a smart device, before you install the diffusers, there's a few things you need to do prior to installing. So we'll pop the cover. There's two dials here. One is for heating, one is for cooling, and you'll set the dial based on the temperature on the chart here that's referenced here. Also, we have the wireless thermostat version. You will move the wireless antenna out here, close the cap, and the product's ready for installation. The way the diffuser operates, it has a solar panel mounted on the face, which is capturing ambient light in the space. The diffuser wakes up every 10 minutes to sense temperature in the room, and it will reduce or increase the amount of air being delivered to the occupants, and that's how it's controlling temperature. It's no different from any other diffuser install, except it's just a smarter device. Hey, Trent, can you pass me the grill, please? Yeah, you got it. Helios is wireless for simplicity, light-powered for economy, and digitally logical for accuracy. Titus's investments in innovation and their ability to stay one step ahead can only mean one thing. If we're going to go to market with something that takes all of the confusion out of all those disparate devices and infrastructure and space and come in with something that's so beautiful and streamlined, well, it better be darn remarkable. The future of design is now.